Welcome back. In the previous video, we looked at how Jody, a business process analyst, was going to discover, capture, and publish business processes using TIBCO Cloud Nimbus. In this video, we'll look at how she'll get started. Organisations rely on a set of well-defined business processes to support and inform the workforce, streamline and improve efficiencies, collaborate and integrate department processes, and to provide a framework for continuous improvement. This diagram shows the complete end-to-end -end steps required to open a customer account. Jody's initial step when creating a process is to define the scope. The scope is depicted by the first input and the final output flow line. Next, she'll add activities. Activities are the building blocks of diagrams, and the activity content is defined by answering the following questions. What is the activity? What represents a single activity in a process? Activities are described using a verb and noun, for example, do this to that. As you can see here, the task is input account data. When should the activity be started? When is depicted by an input flow line and is the trigger event for the activity. Here, the trigger event is a signed checklist. Why was the activity completed? Why is depicted with an output flow line. Outputs describe the result of the activity and can form the input for the next activity. Who is responsible for completing the activity? Who refers to the resource. A resource can either be a role or a system. How is it going to be completed? Drill downs to child diagrams give more details on how to complete the activity. The child diagram will have a predefined scope by inheriting the input and output flow line text from the parent. And finally, with which supporting attachments and links. They supply additional information on how to complete the task and can be in the form of documents and links. In summary, to create a process you first need to define the scope. This is depicted by the first input flow line, which is the trigger event, and the last output flow line, which is the result. Using the what, when, why, who, how and with approach, add an activity for each step to meet the scope. And as a top tip, to ensure the integrity of your process, select the exclamation mark icon on the activity to see what's missing. The next video in this series demonstrates how to create a process. Thanks for watching.